Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and today we're going to take a look at Cyanogen Mod 12 for the OnePlus One. Even though Cyanogen Mod and OnePlus are technically no longer working together, and OnePlus did just release their own operating system, Oxygen OS, the folks over at OnePlus and Cyanogen are still releasing an update to the original OS that comes with your OnePlus. The update to Cyanogen Mod 11S is going to be Android 5.0 Lollipop based, just like Oxygen OS. If you haven't seen my video on Oxygen OS, I will leave that link in the description below. Also, if you go to the OnePlus One forums and find the specific thread, you will find download links to the OS and instructions on how to download them. If you already have a custom recovery installed, then all you need to do is add the zip file to your internal storage and flash the ROM. It takes about 3 minutes for the entire process and it's pretty simple. Now since I do not own two OnePlus Ones, I can't really do an in-depth comparison between Oxygen OS and Cyanogen Mod 12, but I still can tell you some differences that I have noticed in newer features that are built into the ROM. As I mentioned before, both operating systems are based off Android 5.0 Lollipop, and so they are both pretty close to being stock Android. Oxygen OS is very close to stock Android with a few differences in the quick settings and gestures. Cyanogen Mod 12 has a few more added bonus features. Starting with the lock screen, you have a normal looking Lollipop lock screen, the background of whatever current app you are running will be blurred, a feature that has been with the custom ROM and Cyanogen mod for quite some time. You will also have your camera and phone icons in the right and left corners of the screen. Something new with Cyanogen mod 12 is the ability to customize what apps these swipe gestures open up though. Instead of being stuck with only the phone and camera apps, you can change them to your messaging app and YouTube app if you wish to do so. Aside from that, you have a basic lollipop lock screen with floating notification cards and all. Performance for the OnePlus One running CM12 has been very positive so far. Everything seems to be very snappy. I've heard early reports that the OS has been a battery hog, but I have yet to notice anything drastic. As far as the launcher is concerned, it's very close to Google Now launcher, although the actual swipe right to get into Google Now is not present. Everything else is pretty similar. To get into your wallpapers, widget, and general settings from your home screen, a simple long press on the home screen will do the trick. When you swipe down from the left, you will be greeted with your notification shade. You can also program CM12 to swipe down your notifications and settings with one swipe from either the left or right corner. I like to keep mine in the right corner, as you can see here. The toggles can be customized, and you have a plethora of different toggles to choose from. Adding and removing is quite easy with the drag and drop style action. In order to add more options, simply nav navigate to the notification drawer tab in the settings menu. Here you will find different toggles like audio effects, battery mode, and hotspots, just to name a few. When browsing your phone's settings menu, you will notice a few different features and options that are specific to your OnePlus One. Although some of these are not new, they are still useful, and it's nice that Cyanogen still included them in this update. For example, you still have extra settings for your capacitive or on-screen buttons. Personally, I prefer the menu button to open up recent apps with a quick press and menu options with a long press. Under display and lights, you will see that you have the ability to double tap and wake your device from sleep, or double tap the status bar, something that has been around in previous iterations of Cyanogen Mod, to put your device back to sleep. Gestures are still available, although I do not really like to use them because of the sensitivity in my pocket. However, you still have the option to toggle music controls, draw a V for your flashlight, and a circle to activate the camera, all while your phone is asleep. Speaking of camera, Oxygen OS removed the camera's ability to record in 4K. Don't worry, however, Cyanogen Mod 12 has your back and brought back the 4K camera recording feature. CM12 divided the settings menu into a few different sections, where you will be able to find most CM12 related features can be found under the Personal section. Here you will find access to different custom controls for your status bar, notification drawer, and your privacy settings. In your status bar menu, you can control the way your clock looks, where it's positioned, as well as different battery icons and percentage text. You can also control your brightness by sliding back and forth on the status bar if you choose to do so, another feature that has been around in the custom ROM community for quite some time. Notification drawer is where you can select and reorder your quick toggles, and toggle other features such as enlarge the first row of settings tiles, show brightness slider, and show weather above the quick settings panels. Now Cyanogen Mod is known for adding a few custom apps to their ROMs, and CM12 is no different. Some people do not like or have use for some of these apps, but I actually kind of like these apps and find them useful. Some apps that appear new, or at least me, appear new to me since the last version I used of Cyanogen Mod was CM11S, and I do not remember these apps being present, are the Email app and Baton app. I have not set up Baton yet, but from what I can understand, the app syncs app settings 
and data so that when you access the other app from another phone or tablet, your setup will be present. This allows you to have cloud-like storage and settings and access for select apps that might not offer this service. CM12 also has a custom email app that's powered by Boxer that will battle the Gmail app. The look of the app is rather similar to Gmail but has a few different features kicked in. Swipe gestures seem to be all the rage these days, and with Google Inbox and Mailbox, app, Mailbox apps implementing these features, I am not shocked that CM has included this in their own email app. Swiping right to left will allow you to archive or delete a message while swiping from left to right will bring a few different quick actions to the table. Actions such as like, to do, star, label, archive, delete, mark as spam, send to Evernote, and mark unread can all be accessed by a simple swipe. The strangest feature being the like button, which automatically sends an email back to the sender simply stating that you liked their last email. A very simple way to get back to someone with a click of a button. The theme app has actually been redesigned and carries a few different features, the most notable being the app-specific theme option. For example, if you like the look of the stock system theme for all the apps, but want the settings app to look like the CM12 Hexo theme, all you have to do is click the App Themer button and then navigate to the app you want to theme. You can then click the floating paintbrush icon and select whatever theme pack you might want. This will apply the theme to that specific app, but leave the rest of the phone alone. The theme possibilities are endless. Alright guys, this has been a quick look at the CyanogenMod 12 for the OnePlus One update. If you like this video, please hit that like button, and if there is something that I missed or something that you want me to take a closer look at, please let me know in the comments section below. As always, we will see you guys in the next one.